Wu. It's like an autism lawyer. It's like Law and Order. It's like watching Law and Order, right? Every ca every episode's a new case. <laughs> Pretty good. It's a Korean drama. The Amazing World of Gumball. You wish. Um, let's go ahead and start recapping while we wait for Manny. Ventus. What happened two weeks ago? You can have some help since... I don't know about y'all, but it feels like ages since the last time we played. Okay, I remember I tried to pretend like I was like a new guy in the... Whatever we're in. Um <laughs> yeah, named Pizza. No, oh, uh, yeah. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I was trying to be stealthy, but that didn't work out, and they ended up calling for the guards, but we killed. Or they called for intruders, and then we instant. Aslos and I instantly killed them. And that's, that's what we yeah. did, I think. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, and y'all are now alone in that room. Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly, yeah. uh, beginning to investigate it. Um, Jim, what happened on your side of things? I remember that I woke up from unconsciousness, threw some shade, and then we saw that dude leave and lock the door and go across the street. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to go. But the door directly above the door he locked is open with an opening to the door that he locked. I don't recall this information being related before, but maybe I was unconscious. <laughs> yeah, I think the Rat King is out of his uh, potion saving poison thing. Was, yeah, he, told, he did of, tell you he had one antidote. It was more of Ned not trying to drive the story, but trying to be like, hey, this door's open. Um, and then yeah. on our side, mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, we were basically just in combat, and then a poison trap triggered, which was also killing the drow. So we definitely mm -hmm. learned a little bit about the relationship between the drow and the Yanti there. That we always kind of suspected, yeah. but I think that really showcased that they definitely view the drow as inferior to them. Yes, them yeah, the it, uh... Nothing was said, but a lot was communicated to y'all, and like you said, like their relationship, and you could see that the drow were just as blindsided by this trap as y'all were, um, which is kind of sad. So, so he just got banished for a second. That happened. He did. Yeah, he just got banished for a second. Mm -hmm. The whole game state changed in like one turn, like in a big way. Yeah, it was kind of just combat, right? Nothing crazy happened yet. Yeah, tell me about uh, the trap that triggered. Yeah, Fayol ran across it. These it traps hurts. just keep whooping our ass. Uh, I don't know how you're supposed to check. I don't know how you're supposed to check for a trap in the middle of combat, right? It's just like I'm too busy. I yeah, and uh, I did. I let you roll a perception check um, as true. you ran up, but unfortunately, you failed. Um, yeah. So and I'm out of arrows. And you're out of arrows, which really exacerbated the, the trap issue because you had to run forward. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I guess there was a small opportunity there, but I also think that in the heat of combat, Fayol probably wouldn't be overly no. concerned about traps. I mean, so. maybe moving forward. <laughs> I don't. I, I still don't know how she's. Yeah, as a character, how she would. Yeah. Handle that. So that's, uh, that's why I felt comfortable giving you that one perception check, just kind of running forward, looking at your feet, right? And then yeah. it is what it is. Also, welcome, Manny. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, hey! Manny. Yay! Happy birthday, Manny. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank thank you, thank you. Playing D &D yeah, playing D &D yeah this is, this yeah, is boys. the absolute pinnacle of birthday. <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's go. Your birthday and Roaring Thunder's birthday. Hell yeah. yeah. What, are <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds? What are the fucking odds? <laughs> uh, okay, well, 
Is there anything else that anyone would like to clarify, ask a question about, anything like that before we roll on in? D did we go over what happened on Manny's? Yeah, Manny, do you remember what happened to you last time? Um, I do believe, um, I mean, we were in the hallways and that one dude that looked fucking badass came out of that one room and we all passed the stealth check, he didn't see us. Um, went into the other room where the tavern is, and it should be me, the rat, the rat king, Jin, and a bunch of owls just chilling at the moment, if I remember correctly. Chilling. And, and like the that. dwarfs, and the dwarfs. Awesome. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think y'all figured out what y'all's plan was exactly yet. I think we started to talk, but I think Jin wanted to go off into a room or something before doing the that water plan. If I remember correctly, Jin. Uh, well, I said we should act, execute both plans simultaneously. That's right. That's right. That you take care of that room, and I'm going to investigate this room while that guy is being drowned by you. Hopefully. What could go wrong? This, this is a full <laughs> plan, right? Go no wrong. Facts. I like that. Uh, okay, awesome. Let's uh, let's dive in then. I need for Aslos you to roll me a D one hundred. Oh god. Oh god. Eyes close. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Yo, Kizos, I need you also to roll me a D100. Sorry, you need a D100 for me? Yes, yeah, D100. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. Oops. That's okay. I might have someone going on that. my mic or some shit. I clicked it twice. Ignore that one. No, use Drew's. I think I can pull... Well, I need one for each of you, so I'll just pull your second one. 24. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. Um, okay. So, Aslos, when you get banished, you find that the world around you... Let's find some good... Where's some good spooky music? Um, spooky. I don't think I live in spooky music. Make it okay. spooky. You don't hear that? Uh, Instantly spooky. spooky. Yeah, this works. As was, you watch, turn your head as you get banished. And in the blink of an eye, you are in a, an entirely different plane of existence. Um, it's odd because the plane that you go to, you find actually isn't so different from the one that you're in. You watch as the color in your field of vision like turns off, essentially. Everything becomes unsaturated, and it's now just in grays and whites and blacks as you look out in front of you. And the chasm that you see in front of you stretches out for as far as the horizon does. And you can see that the building that you're currently standing in, when you were banished, still exists where you're standing. But instead of it being a tall, existing building that is structurally sound, this one is in ruins. It shares the same perimeter, it shares the same room structure, but you can see that the walls have been broken down, ivy has crawled up against it, there are skulls dotting where furniture and other structures might have been. As you look out into a desolate, empty wasteland. Interesting. So it's like, so wait, the room I'm in, the that's like, is like what did you say? Like, like it's like what is the original room? Imagine with me like a, like a a mirror of where you are, 
where you can like see like in the sewers right now yeah yeah you can see the sewers around you as you're and I, i'm trying to remember where you were banished exactly because i'm having was it in the arcane college this is probably going back a little bit okay so imagine it's where i got banished at okay. yeah, yeah yeah this is from your banishment which i think was in the arcane college i think um, so, i think so yeah 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 and so you can see around you, this is like a, a mirrored plane where you can see the structure of the Arcane College. You can see the city of Ocaria, but everything is different. Where there were buildings, there are now ruins. Where there was a river, there's now a large chasm like you see in this picture that is filled with like wispy, watery fluid, but it's not water. Um, it's completely different. And so you're in this like mirrored plane that has no color, it has no life, and it has no no goodness to it. Also, okay. Wicko, would you mind muting yourself when you're not? We, we're getting a lot of feedback from your bike. Oh, was that a vacuum cleaner? Like oh, a vacuum. maybe yeah, it was a the vacuum. It was my PlayStation. Oh. That's your PlayStation? <laughs> yeah, it's you. Like it's like it's no. Oh my god, no. that sounds like a fucking wind turbine, dude. Yeah, well, I saw the. Uh, I saw the uh, green was just highlighted around He's my He's got voice. an OG my PlayStation over there, dude. <laughs> Homie, you need to open that up and clear out those fucking fans. Bro, yeah, seriously. Jesus. That's what it is. Uh, it's got a little quilt in there. Th uh, thank you. I, I appreciate that, Waco. Um, yeah. But yeah, Asla, so, so you see out in front of you, like I said, like a, a mirrored version of Ocaria, but it is a wasteland. Interesting. So nobody else but me. Exactly. You're completely alone. And as you continue to stare in front of you, you can see in the corners of this room a, a dark shadow beginning to materialize. Oh. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to try to get as close as I can, I guess. Yeah, and, and you watch as it is beginning to gain form. It's like creeping up towards itself. Uh, and... It's slowly from the darkness making itself, what's the right word, like tangible, real. And you look as it is slowly gaining form. And after a couple seconds, it finally does materialize itself. And it looks like this little guy. And it's Jokizos. Like Teddy? Ew. As it looks up at you, it's maybe only like two feet tall. It's quite small. It's disgusting. Wait, where'd you post it? In, uh, oh, in oh, chat. So yeah. is it kind of like a, like it's only two feet tall? You said? Yeah, it's small. It's small. Shh. Interesting. Can I, I'm. Hello. And as you speak out to the thing, it looks up you, up at you, and you hear a voice behind you. It's deep and gravelly as it speaks out to you and it says, Not very often do we have materialites in the Shadowfell. What is the Shadowfell? And you turn and this is the creature that you see speaking to you. Oh. This creature is tall. Not as tall as you, but, but humanoid size. As the little mephit continues to look up at you. And this creature begins to slowly walk towards you. Not dangerously, but... It, it, I wouldn't say to intimidate you, but it would intimidate a normal person. Um, as their chains kind of wrangle as they walk closer. And the, the creature says to you, Do you know of the Feywild? The Fey Wild, did you say? And the creature nods. Um, not really. Is that, is that where I am currently? This is, then I like kind of say this is Ocaria though. And the creature smiles at you and says, No, no. But the Fey Wild is too good and light and whimsy. The shadow fell is the opposite. 
and it smiles at you, bearing a row of sharp fangs as the creature begins to walk a little bit closer. And as it takes one more step, you pop, and you are back in the Arcane College. And it's strange when you come back, because it's... Like I said, you're in the same room, but now the world has color again. The structure is full. Your friends are here. There's life. And it doesn't feel as though you've left to a different plane, but you have obviously gone somewhere very different. Interesting. Okay. And you're back. And Yokizos, you rolled 94. Yeah, and I'm assuming with that knowledge that I ahead. just I would not have shared any of that. Sure. Till this point, like, and okay. I still, I'm keeping that information till we get to a better time. Yeah, that uh, that totally makes sense. That that information is now kind of like yours to hold on to. I think I'm kind of attributing it to like a mind trick that the uh, mm. you know Deus kind of put on. Sure. So, yeah. yeah. That uh, that totally makes sense. You, uh, you can kind of process that on your own terms. Um, you, your Kizos, wind up somewhere very different. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> not quite. Uh, so you find yourself, as you get banished, you get popped, right? You find yourself immediately as you open your eyes kind of stumbling as you are on a like a 90 degree tilt as you look out in front of you and it's a a a incline that you're on like the side of a mountain and every direction you look this mountain rises to the horizon you can't see past, you can't see where it levels out. Down below you, it goes all the way down past your vision. And above you, it goes all the way up past your vision. The rock is red and you, by looking at it, you would think that it's hot, but it's not. The sky is black and red, filled with huge thunderclouds that are loaming up ahead. And you are kind of alone on this incline that exists in perpetuity. And I would like for you to roll me a perception check. And you can kind of hear and feel soft rumblings that are kind of like in in motion, hitting the ground and kind of making it vibrate just very softly. I feel like if I move, I'm going to die, so I'm not going to move. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> and so you freeze. You uh, you don't move. Um, and you do find that the air here is difficult to breathe. It, it feels like you are not choking, but it is like it's volcanic air. Like, it's ashy air. It's hot in your throat. And while you enjoy the heat, um, you do not enjoy this. It's It feels as though with every swallow, you're like, you're you're having to breathe in and swallow cigarette smoke. Is how it feels. Best. Wicked one, love it there. <laughs> uh, and like, really hot cigarette smoke. As you're, again, like, you're, you're just trying to maintain your footing on this 45 degree angle. And that's when you see it begin to emerge around the side of this slope and it takes you a couple seconds to truly grasp and understand what you're seeing because it it looks like something out of a horrific book but it's real and you see walking around the corner of this slope far, which you, you you think is far in the distance is the crawling city of Gehenna a giant labyrinth of buildings and castles that are suspended upon hundreds of crawling legs that move it around this mountain slope and you can see as it's slowly lumbering not necessarily like at you or in your direction or anything like that but just it's meandering on its way 
Do I know where I'm at based off everything I've read? Hmm. I would say that you have a, a, a deep suspicion that you are somewhere in the lower planes. This nah, is not a, basically this hell. is not Yes, this is not a good aligned plane. Wherever this might be. Um, and you just kind of watch as the city slowly grows larger and larger. And I would assume at this point you even more badly do not want to move. Yeah. <laughs> as the sky kind of rumbles and rolls and uh, you begin to see the hundreds of massive legs that are just slowly pulling the city across the slope side and as you're watching it go you kind of blink with a pop and you're back in the material plane gross yes both of you had a interesting experience um, I'm trying to remember, I do not remember who I started with last time. Um, so I'm going to bring it over to the boys in the sewers and then we'll do the opposite next week. <coughs> I just want to say congrats, David. I've seen a lot of campaigns where like, oh, you're banished. And that's it. So that was really cool. <laughs> no, you deserve to, you deserve to have a story. You're going to another, another plane, you know? Yeah, you get some, that's really you cool. You should get something good out of that. Um, okay. And so, yeah, the group of you are in the sewers. I want to start with our bigger group that includes Thunder, Jin, the Rat King, Lopin, Sornan, um, and Ned. I believe that the group of you have just kind of ducked behind this um, little levee that's been constructed to dodge the man that walked from one side of the blocked out sewer here to the other. And I believe we watched him actually go in, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, you're correct. Alright, so I turned to Thunder. Alright, so I think we should split up here. You do your plan, fill up it with water, and I'll go find the lever in the building right here. Are you okay, cool, cool with that? You seem Not... to be a little hesitant earlier. Yeah, a little hesitant in case if something goes wrong. Like, what do you think might go wrong? I, I don't I don't know they what, what I think might happen doesn't happen and then they just run out here extremely pissed and it's just me a dwarf and an invisible dwarf what if you turned into an owl if that happened then fly away okay you, you don't want to oversee this at all I mean it's not that I don't but I just gotta find the lever in this room but we're not under a time constraint right I, I thought we were. If you really need some backup on this, I'll come. Back. Just tell me you need my help. I just I want you to watch. You don't have to come with me. You can probably just look at the door and see if something happens. If nothing happens, then you can continue going on your route. I, mean, I just wanna I just wanted you to be able to if need be react and assist me if something were to happen. In case because we don't there's no like plan B kind of thing. What if we just like went in there and killed them? Like I, I looked for the invisible dwarf. I'm like I'm pretty sure he said there's like a decent amount of people in there. Hey hey invisible dwarf. <laughs> yes. How many people he's were he's in like there? whispering already in our ear. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember how many people were in there? Maybe nine or ten. Shit. And like, how well were they armed? Well, now plus one. I mean, I can go look for the lever. Now, what if you caused a distraction? acting like a poltergeist or some shit and while they're all spooked and trying to figure out what's going on then we'll bring some other kind of trap that won't drown us but we'll kill them all what trap can we make i don't know you're the druid you figured out <laughs> i'm a druid underground <laughs> i don't think i'm in my 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 home turf here 
Can you, like, mold earth, make the ceiling collapse on him or something? I look around, and I think we're, like, under concrete. Is DM? that not earth? Work yeah. stone. Yeah. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think it's earth. Earth. I'm thinking of dirt. <laughs> All right. All right. New plan. You try drowning them. If that doesn't pan out, get call out in your owl hoot, and then I'll not be too far away. Call out in my owl hoot. Yeah, get like a, some kind of signal. There's so many owls around here that you won't be suspicious if you just start hooting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. It'll work. I believe in you, Thunder. You're too kind. Um, I asked oh. I asked Lopin real, real quick. How high were the that was the the ceiling in that room in the tavern? <laughs> and the other dwarf kind of begins to walk over the levee. I am Lopin. Oh shit. Um, hi Lopin. I hope you're doing Hello, well. Hello, Thunder. I'm. I am fine, but I thought we would have a better plan, so I'm a little anxious. But I don't know how I can really help here with this plan. Just you being here really helps us. And then I just quickly look at uh, Sornin. I was like, how tall with the <laughs> was the ceiling? Thank in there? you, Thunder. I needed that. I don't have a ruler, Catman. How many have you stacked? Well... Three, yep. maybe four. It depends on which one of us. I'm a little tall. You were in there too, Lopin? No, but I'm... J if he's... If Sornin is speaking of three to four me's or three to four Sornins, that's different. Or what marginally, about but... And I'm looking at Sornin. How, how tall is Sornin? Damn. Uh, okay. you can't see. He's invisible. God damn it. <laughs> I feel... Uh, well, okay, well, well he's... He said, Lopin said he's taller. How how tall is Lopin? Lopin's uh, like a good, like, five and a half feet. So it's about 15 feet? Roof depth? Maybe. Hey, he, must, he must have been referring to Sornin. Is that tall? That sounds tall. Okay. Uh, what I'm assuming from this dwarf conversation that we're having... Um, Definitely not twenty feet. And in the tavern underground. Can can Sornin make a more educated guess with some sort of roll, like a perception? Yeah, let thing? him let him roll a, an insight check. That that'll work. <laughs> can Sornin not be an idiot? <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh yeah, you, you you would guess like maybe like ten to twelve feet. Okay. Ten to twelve Perfect. feet, Catman. Thank you, Sornin, you're a genius. And I can't move my fucking token. It keeps saying move. that's a wall. That's a hard wall either. now for some reason. It didn't used to be. I know. Yeah. Oh, sh I know why. Sorry. Here, here you go. Here you go. It's fine. This whole time I'm trying there to you understand go. There you your, go. your logic. I'm just like stuck and annoying me. Keep yelling I can't over the rocks move. at each other. Hey, so how many people are there? Uh, before Catman goes in, uh, Sornin turns to Lopin and he says ready to get out of the room. He nods and says back in Dwarvish. I think that would be a, a wise idea. Mm -hmm. uh, Ned's gonna run to the Rat King and say, I'm gonna go find the other two. There has been no communication with them. I don't, we don't know if they're still okay. The, uh, the Rat King gives you a, a silent nod. I'm not saying that crochet, like I'm just... Bad, think about it. <laughs> this uh, this owl's gonna fly with you. Yeah, fuck yeah. Stealthy kind of shit. A, like a red wall moment as the two of you head over together. Um, and speaking of these two, pause for a second for me, uh, Ned. As the group of y'all are kind of talking on the other side, I want to see what uh, Aslos and Ventus do on your side. All right. Well, I had just gone in the door. Uh, my you game is paused for some reason. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. So I, I had just gone in the door, the other door that was in the room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, you open up to find a like a, a large um, 
storage closet that is filled with a variety and an assortment of um, of supplies. Um, you see some weapons, sacks, chests, a rather large chest that sits on the top of the um, of this like shelving unit, and then several barrels and bottles. All right, I'm gonna throw like open the large chest without even thinking. Okay. Um, I need you to make a con saving throw for me. As you open up the chest, you see as a small mechanism fires and a small poison needle goes. And uh, as it stabs you, you can kind of feel the poison injected into your veins. Um, and it, it hurts a little bit. You're going to take half this damage. Um, but you are not poisoned by it. it it's okay. not, not enough to really poison you. All right. And I mean, um, can I get to like treat it as like a prick on my hand? Like yeah, rip that, my that, hand away and be like, oh, I mean, oh well, I guess. Yeah, like, owie. But obviously not like debilitating pain or anything like that. Um, and you see that this chest was um, kind of like a mock chest. It, it's empty. It doesn't have anything in it. And you can see that it's actually been screwed down to the shelving unit that it's in. And coming out from the bottom of it is a small lever uh so and i'm gonna kind of like lean over to ventus i i think that that thing just tried to poison me but i don't exactly know but i know that you are not affected by that type of stuff right yeah <laughs> okay so i might have you deal with this lever in case um, I don't get as lucky the second time. What, so, so do you think this is the the lever we need to push to open the gates or whatever? Or is this some oh, other? Is this some I other didn't lever? Think of that. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It might be. I'm gonna roll. Can I roll an inside check for this? Sure. Is it like a? Like a, a big lever that you pull, or is it like a switch kind of thing? It's like a uh, a lever that goes from like left to right. Like you can flip it one way or the other. Oh, okay, yeah, I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then I'm like looking at me. Be, be, what do you think? Do you think that's it? I mean, I, that, it's kind of underwhelming if that's it. I mean, not that it should be a big thing, but it doesn't really feel like it's well protected. I don't, I don't know. It just, you know, it doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, I don't know how to get into like the other rooms to check, and this is the most. Do Do you think it'd be bad if we just like turned it on and turned it off, um, real quick, to see if it like? Well, I mean, I, I mean, we might as well, right? What? Is it? Yeah, I mean, go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna like <laughs> flip the switch on and see if it like does anything, and then quickly switch it off or whatever the other position it's in right now okay yeah you uh you pull it to the other side like kind of like, towards you and you can hear as like mechanics like start to churn and change and after maybe two seconds or so of that it locks and then it forces itself back to the other position oh so i think this might be it i mean that because they all need to be pressed at the same time isn't, isn't that what jin said yeah, so I'll, I'll go tell Frodo. You should like make sure to like guard the door or something. Make sure no one else comes in here. Okay, so yeah, I'll. Uh, we should stay put, right? Like we found ours. We don't have to do anything else. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, make sure like no, like because they called for intruders, right? So make sure no one comes into this room, this room or this whole room. Okay. In. Yeah, you're gonna stay put. Here, yeah, I'll stay. Right? I'll, stay, I'll, stay okay. I'll stay. I'll stay in here. Okay. All right, so, so I'm just going to go over to the door and, like, I'm going to start grabbing supplies around and, like, kind of mm -hmm. barricading it. And then I'm just going to, like, sit up against it. And then, uh... Okay. And then I'm going to, like, gonna... take a look at my hand, make sure nothing's, like, wrong while I, like, barricade the door. Sure. Do a uh, do a medicine check for me. As you... Uh, we'll, we'll call this locked. 
Yeah, you kind of inspect it, and you can see like a little bit of green where like the poison was injected, but it doesn't like sting or burn or anything like that. Now it's just like a prick, like a normal prick. Yeah, I kind of just like take like some like fake cloth that's all bloody and disgusting out of my bag and like start wrapping it like yeah, from it another up. person's like body like thinking I'm doing <laughs> something like in the intelligent way instead of just the Aslo's way. <laughs> yeah, you like kind of like tourniquet it, it in and uh, and seal it off. Um, okay, I want to go back to Jin and Thunder for just a second. We'll then go to Ned and then we'll go over to our uh, fighting boys. So, Thunder, you walk up to this door with Lopin behind you, and you're assuming Invisible Sword in behind you. Yeah. Oh, is that the, was that the end of the questions? Uh, yeah, so those are, those uh, are all the questions I have. I, okay, I, I wasn't sure if it was like... I was waiting for the next question. Uh, okay. Uh... Yeah, I, I, I look for just, you know... You look anxious. Yeah, I just want to make sure I'm doing the right thing and don't result in us getting harmed or killed, at the very least. We're with I, you, Catman. I appreciate that. And I'm just looking blindly. Hopefully, I I, I looked at uh, Sornin in the eyes when I said that. Um, I don't know if I did or not. Uh, all you did. right. I... I creak, I, I creak the door open. I slowly open the door, and basically, I just want it to where I can fit my bag of holding through, and I just hold it upside down to let the water spew out. And as that's happening, I'm using the cantrip um, shape water. So what uh -huh. I'm trying to do is at least freeze the bottom gap of the door up into where the bat the height of the bag is so it doesn't like seep through the underneath the door it, would you mind linking for me shape water just really <laughs> fast i would just like to see it yeah you can do that okay the, i just want to see is a really um, I, I could try to copy and paste it because i can't I, I wasn't able to add that as a as a cantrip oh here i, yeah. I can do that for you oh okay that'd be um, awesome yeah, I'll add that spell in for you. I, I really like this because... And I love that it's happening on your birthday because it's really the pinnacle of you pushing what a cantrip can do and the way that you love to do it. The amount of times that we've had you shape water, yeah. mold earth, and it's... Yeah. I uh, love my cantrips. Don't forget you, produce flame. Produce flame. Produce fucking flame, bro. That's uh, like, and <laughs> the this is, fucking catch. <laughs> and this is really the uh, kind of the most I think that you've really pushed boundary wise on one of these spells. So here's your I shape honestly, water. I kind of want it to where like I'm just a badass cantrip leader. <laughs> like fuck all the other spells. Like <laughs> I don't I'm need just spell fucking, slots. Yeah, I just got cantrips, and I'm a go with these. Cantrips. Oh, that's you so can, like, funny. You can like walk across water and shit with shape water. Like, yeah, you can it's fucking it in dope. front of you and make a path. Okay. Like, yeah, you. Uh, so yeah, you spill out water from your bag of holding, and as it's kind of spilling out and filling up, and then before it can really like begin to disperse, you have your other hand shaping the water around the seal, and you're freezing it to form a like a perfect seal where the door frame would be. Am I understanding that correctly? Correct, and I'm almost trying to do this just like an instantaneous kind of like I'm just holding the bag, and, and it I'm freezes just freezing it comes the door. Out almost. Right, and as I'm like feeling, because I feel like as I'm doing shape water, I kind of feel like I'm in tuned with the water, so I know, like I feel like as I touch water, almost like my senses become with the water. Wow. So I understand. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Yeah, yeah, you're you're really getting the fluid dynamics as it's flowing out. Right. Um, yeah, and um, Lopin is watching, Lopin and Sorin is watching as you begin to seal off this door with ice. Yeah, and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to basically do it, because I'm not trying to like, I'm doing this, 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 and this, and this. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm trying to do this in the sense of like, you can reasonably, you know, people inside can reasonably like see it or respond. But what I what I'm trying to do is, as soon as the water is spewing out of the bag, and I am sure that the door or the gaps from the door are sealed, that's when I cast 
um, shape water. Or not shape water. Um, control water. Control water, yeah. There it goes. And it has several different... Yeah, it does. And you are, I'm guessing you're choosing Flood? Correct. That's that's the... Am I able... I saw an icon for me to post it somewhere, and then when I zoomed out, the icon went away. Do I need to re-click? Oh, the, measured, the measured template? If you go to the spell uh -huh. and click Place Measured Template. I go to the spell in my book? Well, my just in the chat. Notebook. Just in the chat. Oh. Place Measured Template. Got it. Because it says 100... Fuck. I can delete that one. What the fuck? Place measure template. I can't see because it's like a black square and there's all these shadows. Okay, yeah. So it's up to, right? But I'm focusing it mm -hmm. being in the room. Because that's wow. the amount of water I want to... That's the actual area I want to quote-unquote flood and make the waters rise. And so the water that you're having rise, is that also coming from the bag of holding? Yeah, that's the water, because the, the the water that's influenced is standing water. So that's why I collected the water, and I'm dumping it in that room. I God, sealed, off the, sealed it off. Right, I, I sealed the main gap that I could see, which is the door. <laughs> so I'm allowing this water to build up in this room. Oh, right. Yeah. So now this... that there's a water source in the room, mm -hmm. that's the water that's being influenced by control water. <laughs> I see. So I don't know if I could change this polygon. Uh, no, but I think I get the gist of what okay. you want. Uh, yeah. It, and I mean, we're, all, we're all GIS pros, uh, you know. We, yeah, yeah, you know, we got. We know we could um, manipulate. <laughs> we know what little, we're doing. These little polygons, you know. Okay. Um. Yeah. You. After you finish sealing off the door, you kind of let your bag of holding go as it's pouring out water, and you raise your hands and cast Control Water. And I'm going to come back to you after that to see what happens there. Okay, good, because there's some follow-up um, within the spells. But yeah. Sure, sure. Um, Jen, what are you doing is you kind of, you can see off in the corner of your eye, Thunder beginning to seal off this door with ice. At first, I'm just kind of surprised that it was working so well. Because I was like, damn. I was expecting water just to flow, rush back at us. But thanks. <laughs> I uh, after I see that it's you know going smoothly, I start looking around at my objective and and thinking about how Ned mentioned there is another door above. So I start looking. Did he just mean like above cardinal direction wise, or above like up? So I just start looking up to see if there's like a doorway or entrance somewhere else. Uh, yeah, you would see this door right here. All right, so then I uh, check it for traps one more time, just to be safe. Okay. Going to roll a perception check. You uh, you give it a quick look as you uh, reach out with your hand. Yeah, and I open it. And as you open the door, you can see what's inside. It is a, like, it almost looks like a, like a, like an office of sorts. There's a desk with a large chair, a small sitting area that is, like, finely decorated, but kind of in a tacky style, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. um, there's some wine laid out, assortment of different documents, and two doors that lead out from this room. Uh, I immediately walk over to the desk and start searching for anything. Sure. Yeah. You begin to rifle through it. And uh, you find a lot of different documents that are pretty boring to you. It's like thieving trade deals, um, shipments, timings, stuff like that. Um, you do find a, an, a document that catches your interest from the Jackal addressed not directly to this person it doesn't feel but instead more of like a general like mass email almost but in letter form um instructing basically the allowance of 
snake folk to walk through the sewers undisturbed and unbothered. Um, and another order basically saying that Drow will now be joining in all Thieves Guild locations and um, strongholds. And that they are to remain unquestioned and of higher rank than those thieves that were already existing. Clear collusion. I pocket that. Mm -hmm. uh, I look around, I guess, the shelves. Yeah, nothing really of interest here. Just old, old documents, maps, that kind of thing. Anything in this box over here? Uh, no, no, not in that box. All right, I'll check this door for trips. Um, no, you uh, you take you're a little more patient this time around as you uh, kind of look through it, and you you don't find any traps. All right, I'll attempt to open it. Okay. And you find that there's definitely someone already in this room, even though they don't notice you yet, because they are fast asleep. And with that, actually, that's a great stopping point. We're going to go to our combat boys, and we'll pick up right here. Nice. Let's do this thing. This situation is a little more precarious. And we go left. We go now! <laughs> Sorry, Yokizos, you're on your own. It's alright. I've been in this situation before. <laughs> For like a whole calendar year. Well, and then I met Jaryu, so. <laughs> True. So it looks like we got to the start of round three. Is that correct? Did I do the trap? No, the trap is about to go off. No, you did the trap. Oh, the oh, trap did go off. Totally. Did it go off a second time? Yeah. No, did. no, it's you gone off once. It didn't times. hurt us that bad. No, you did. You did it a second time already. <laughs> right. We, we I all took don't think... 27 damage. I don't think I did. Yeah, I'm gonna go up and make sure that you we we'll gonna rewatch last session. Yeah. <laughs> Team All days in 20 tapes. <laughs> it rolled a D6. It Referee? Rolled a six. I know that the trap has gone off once. I wasn't sure if it had gone off a second time. No, it did. It did. Definitely did. I cannot tell if Andrew is <laughs> <laughs> being serious or not. <laughs> I, don't think I don't think it did. I don't think it did. I think it went, went off, off once. I think it went off once. Um. Which means that on initiative 20, the gas goes again. No! And uh, every yeah. creature that is not immune to poison damage, which would just be the 1T, need to roll and a con saving throw for me. Jaryu, right? Uh, Jaryu resists. Oh, right, right, right. Con Say save. con save? Yes. And I will roll for your soldiers. Thank you all. Unless, unless you would like to. Nah, I, I'm slow. Um, would you like me to roll for them all individually, or all as one? I mean, it's probably better for all as one, but we can that's, save that's, time. That could be infinitely worse. Yeah, yeah I mean, just, just do one. Here. Just do okay. one. How good are you at roulette? Uh. Ooh. Yeah, this isn't good. The uh, the poison trap it continues to spew out its poison. If you oh. succeeded, you take half of this. If you don't, um, you take full. I meant the other way as separate would be better because yeah, separate's always better. I think that's but, what I was meaning. Yeah. I didn't verbalize that properly. So half. Um, so half if you yeah. succeeded, yeah. Because now all of them might die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of them's down for sure. Yeah, Bochi's dead. Yeah, that's right. We named you named him so we could. So we could more wait, better. did two D ten damage. Yeah. Oh. It was it was six damage, but Bochi's was like had one H HP or some oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, and this the this drow is going to roll as well as it's coughing. Fail, so she's going to take all six. I think that's the only drow still left alive, yeah. No, there's another. Oh, yeah. Yeah, never mind. Um, okay. Oh, and I man. think with that done, then um, we can continue. So we are starting with the Wanti Abomination over here, who is currently engaged with uh, Yokizos. Yeah, Let me add I you do not current... remember what level I upcast Spirit Guardians. Uh, I don't either. I thought you did five, but that's a shot in the dark. Well, I am missing one level five spell slot, and I did not use Insect Plague, Raise Dead, unless you would take Contagion or Intellect Shell. Yeah, that's so my that's guess, it's five. Okay. <laughs> this you'll take half. Um, it's going to go ahead and attack you, Yokizos, with its multi attack since it's in range. Can't Whoa! Really leave. Yeah, so it's going to bite. Defense. <laughs> sure would with it. Uh, constrict. Tooth broken. Okay, hold on. Okay. Um, I'm going to reaction cast shield, so I have a plus five AC. That misses. Okay. Oh, no problem. Jokizos. You watch as a magical shield emanates out from your own shield, kind of enveloping over you, and uh, it causes that uh, that not to hit. Now you have a cool little thingy on your token. And it will strike with its scimitar for its last attack. And that doesn't hit. 24. Ha! Because that, I have a plus uh, 5. <laughs> yeah, pretty clutch. Um... Fuck he's yeah. Gonna stay, he's going to stay where he's at. He can't really do much else. Until the start of my next turn. So I have that for the rest of... Uh, yeah, yeah. Because my turn starts soon. So. Um, It's the scout's turn. She is frightened of Jaru. But... um, Is... Can't move any farther away from Jaru, I don't believe. Where are you, Jaru? I'm right by the topside tigers. Oh, yeah, 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 she can't move any farther away. Um, so in that case, she gets her action back. Wow, um, she shoots the Mind Whisper because she's so angry? <laughs> <laughs> she's going to shoot uh, Vial. Bring it on, sucker. I mean, I'm spiteful enough that I would shoot the Yanti if I was getting poisoned. That does. <laughs> that will hit. That hits, okay. Build my glaive, my serpentine glaive. So you take five, and then I need a con saving throw from you. I want it. Ooh, it's not letting me right click all of a sudden. Uh, make sure you have your token selected. Oh, oh. yeah, that's right. My bad. Apply damage, and then you set a con save. Mm hmm. I'm all. Um, okay, you passed, so nothing happens. Sweet. I believe that is the only living drow scout, so now we go to you, file. Uh, I'm gonna yell out to the humans, get out of here, run, run for the hills, get out. And then I will... And they, they hear that one of the one of the men, Zeno, looks at you and says, what? <laughs> yeah, like, get out of here! And I will, um... And they're all coughing and shit, they can barely breathe. Yeah, um... Let's see. Let me think just for a second. That one's dead. Okay, I'm going to run past and stay and kind of sweep low and get on the back side of this fool. 
okay. and try to hit him with my uh, serpentine situation. Does that give me advantage? Uh, flanking, I believe it does. Yee. Yeah. Oh, that was the wrong one. That was disadvantage. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we'll do advantage. a 15 plus... Oh. roll again. Yeah, that's so fine. 18 for the first. Uh, 18 hits, yep. I'm all. Oh, Very nice. real damage. Yes. Oh, uh, um, but I am going to give back. He just, They don't take poison damage, so... Yeah, you take the... <laughs> oh, yeah, but... Might not matter. <laughs> that is a critical hit. Okay, so you know what that means is that I'm going to also... So take off uh, he's, he's pretty large, right? Yeah. Uh, huge, or... What is it? Uh, he's a large monstrosity, I believe. Okay, I think I can still try to trip him. Yeah, Let me large. make sure. Yeah, I can. So I'll do it. I'll also use a trip attack as well. Okay. To add the crit damage. Oh, yay. Six. And, uh, yeah. Go in and describe what it looks like as you kill him with, uh, with his own weapon. Oh yeah, I slide behind him. I whip him once in the side, and once I and now that I'm fully back, I just plunge it right through his the back of his chest, and it pokes out, staring at Yokizos. And Hell I yeah. whip it back out as he drops to his knees and falls over. Yeah, yeah, horrible black, kind of greenish black liquid is beginning to spill out from him as he clusters his chest. You can hear him screaming out in a language that you don't understand as he kind of hisses and his tongue is falling out of his mouth. It's a pretty Ooh, grotesque beautiful. sight. Yeah, That's most. a free action I cast. Comprehend languages with my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Phil, are you moving anywhere else? Uh, yeah, I got five. I think I got like five foot, so I'll just kind of step back towards back to the front and I'm like, let's get out of here. Kill him while uh, we leave. Skedaddle. Okay. Uh, the soldier's turn. Go ahead, Phil. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna use their dashes. Uh, so I think this guy can get all the way out. Uh, the one that's closest to the door can get out. This guy has to... Is, is that darkness still up? Whose was that? Um, that was the Mind Whispers. I think it was the Mind Whispers. Let me oh, check Oh, no, no, it's fast. this guy. He's concentrating. No. Yeah, for sure. Well, okay. no, he doesn't have darkness. I don't know who would cast that darkness. It should be gone now, though. Okay. So Maybe they, they now. they're all going to run out, I guess, confused as fuck, but they're going to trust me, hopefully. I don't know. You tell me. Uh, uh, yeah. I no, I mean, they, they trust you. They trust yeah, you. Yeah, so they're going to book it, and they should all have at least the 60 foot to get out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, he was that, concentrating yeah. on the charm of the soldier. Yeah. Who dead. That's absolutely right. So no longer... Yeah, their movement's 30, right? Yeah. Yeah, then they can all get out. This one, one of them barely can get out, but yeah, he can. Oh, you're having them dash. Okay. Yeah, dash. Full action. Just get out. Sure. Yeah, We're makes sense to me. We're going to kill the these guys. Yeah, your, uh, your living guys run to the door as fast as they can, kind of stepping over the bodies of their lost um, and make it out of the poisoned all temple. So three died. <laughs> you lost 50, half 50, of them. Baby. You lost yeah. half of them. Uh. Yep, okay. So them. Uh, very good. The brood guard. It is the brood guard's turn. Yeah. Um, it shows them dead, but they, they do have a turn. Uh, this one. I don't know why he's, this one here. Um, he is going to multi attack you, Yokizos, recklessly. Oh, wait. wait. He has to take damage. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Roll save. Wisdom 17. Okay. Wisdom, wisdom. Ew, a 13. Hold on. Yeah, I was about to say, that's terrible yeah, damage. That's, that's, that's he takes all roll. of it. He does take it all of it. Um... So it has not been my turn yet. I still have a plus five AC. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're right. So nice. this isn't going to hit. But he can try, I suppose. <laughs> 25 um, is possible, I think. 
bite with advantage. Oh, I thought he was yeah. about to crit. <laughs> then claws with advantage, that'd be sick. Yeah, now he's got nothing. All David um, wants is a brood guard to crit Yokizo. So. Oh, that'd be so cool. <laughs> um, hmm. It's not a good spot. I guess he'll stay there. Can't take that attack of opportunity. Uh, your turn, your Kizos. All right. Um, I'm going to run over here. Are these cages locked? Uh, yes. You kind of fiddle with it, and it is locked. Okay. Um. So I moved 25 to do that. Okay. Doesn't that brood guard need to take damage? Yes, he does. Yeah, he does. He's now entered. Um, he'll did, roll a Did you take wisdom. their turns? Oh, I totally forgot about this guy. No, I didn't. Yeah, you got two of them. Yeah. I can fight the zombie real quick. Yeah, I mean he's just gonna slap the zombie, so I'll have him attack the zombie, so he takes half of that. and then and then he'll take that damage. Um, so he's gonna do recklessly fight fight your zombie, uh, uh, which technically has advantage. Uh, uh, he hits anyways. Oh, okay. Yeah, pretty sure zombies have like the lowest AC. <laughs> so he's gonna take six, and then he take not much. And now I'll give him the half of the Spirit Guardians. That's fine. Um, is there another Brood Guard that I'm missing? Yeah, this one here. He was going to attack. He's just going to attack the guy that's in front of him recklessly. So he's going to bite. Uh, that hits. Uh, Damage. Do they sound the exact same or does the uh, Fungi one sound a little different? Fungi one's more like... Uh, uh. <laughs> Or drawn out. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll take eight damage, the fun guy. Um, um, and I believe that's all of them. So your keysers, you are now free to do your actual action. What's your Twitch name, David? Forgot you changed it. Uh, here I can text it to her. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. So I come over here and see that these are locked, and I probably don't have time to unlock them. I'm gonna move another five feet down. To here and then I'm going to cast mask your wounds so I can get six creatures all right um, okay all three of these soldiers they are dead I can't heal him. Oh. Well then I don't It want says to unconscious, him. but yeah, you no can take death it back. saves for no yeah, death not, saves for NPCs. Not the yeah. minions. I don't want to cast that then. Fuck that shit. <laughs> my spell slot. Yeah, that's yeah, <laughs> no problem. Get that shit back. Um, let's see. Oh, now I gotta find something else here. Sorry, I gotta like read spells and shit now. Let's go. Maybe. Are you are you talking at all to your zombies? Well, what would are I you, are you like commanding them at all? No, they're chilling right now. They're just uh, and <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cast. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jaryu, Jaryu doesn't like to. Jaryu just likes to let the zombies be, you know. Yeah, let them do their thing. Yeah. I'm gonna cast blight on the giant anaconda. 
Oh damn. Okay. So Fuck yeah. Con save. <clears throat> or he takes thirty-one damage. He takes thirty-one. Yeah. He, uh, he takes a lot of damage. What does that blight look like? Um. Oh, I just imagine it just looks like black energy, kinda, and it just shoots yeah. a straight ray towards him, basically. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Um, and then my bonus action, my trident is gonna come swing and try to stab this Yanti Broodguard in the head, in the chest. Okay. I'm gonna recast that one. Hold on. And I did upcast that. As well. Yeah. Yeah, it hits. He did. I'd imagine. Yeah. He is dead. So uh, since yeah. I only move forward five feet, I'm going to move the full thirty. Okay. And it's going to fly over here. And Makes then sense to me. That was my turn. Already? Oh, um, <laughs> oh no, you're totally fine. Um, it's now the mind whispers turn. He was just kind of chilling in the back. Um, and he is going to cast... Oh, you can take off the shield for me, by the way. Ooh, yeah, I'll do that. Um, he is going to cast, in this little group here, Hypnotic Pattern. Oh, shit. Uh, no. Oh, oh. thank God. I was like a five? Oh, man. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> These guys are right here. Uh. <sighs> oh, yeah, nice. boy! Oh, yeah. Is that yeah. For us, or is that for you? That was for me. Oh wait, I gotta roll for the zombies oh. too, didn't I? No, well, the zombies aren't really in it. I don't think the. Oh. Um, I think he had actually, your. Whenever he rolled it. I am. I am fine with giving you that roll. Like whatever roll that was. It was a. I mean, it was a nat twenty. Um, so jar you passes, but I do need you to roll for your zombie down here. Which one? The, the zombie? Yeah, the just, just zombie zombie. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Yeah, uh, I think that minus two. Oh! Oh, oh yeah! God, are land. you kidding me? <laughs> this mind whisper is like, God damn it! And the brood guard <laughs> technically has to do it too, and of course he's going to fail. Oh, oh okay. Passes it. Worst hilarious. hypnotic pattern ever. Yeah, that man, that would have been a. He's cast fight it twice and it didn't work both times. Yeah, that's such a fight changer too. That'd be freaking huge. Okay, <laughs> yeah. that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I mean, good no rolls. Good rolls. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. We adapt. We overcome. Jar you. It's your turn. Jar you. Uh, oh, oh. Jar you's gonna move back around the cage quietly. <laughs> Middle <of> combat. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna talk to Joe. Oh, and he's gee. gonna say, Old man, I'm gonna get you out of here. And he's gonna reach through the cage. And he's gonna grab Joe. And he's gonna cast Thunder Step. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. And he's gonna damage this Drow Scout back here because it's technically within 10 feet. That's dead. Oh, Fortunately that's... for you, that one's I... dead. And I'm, oh, he's close... ten... I'm also ten foot uh, away there. The whole corner's ten. Mm. The whole corner's dead except Fayil. Oh, I couldn't see Fayil back there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of. I'm kind of. I, uh, I kind of like that angel. idea though that you 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 couldn't see her behind the giant body of the abomination. Yeah, like I didn't get around it all the way. So yeah. Well, yeah. As I thunder <laughs> step away, I say, "Sorry, Fayil." <laughs> <laughs> and you take nine damage and joe and i teleport out to the front of the uh, temple yes meter b so does that mean i pass, that you pass. yeah you pass. okay so half damage mm -hmm. a big deal i got you and we are out of there i get like buffeted with the the thunder shock yeah, you definitely get blown back a little bit. Uh, a little buffeted, that's a good word for it. And so, uh, go ahead and place your token where you want to teleport to, Jaryu. Oh, I want to teleport outside. Oh, wow. 
Wow. Oh, like fully cool. outside. You can really go that far. Oh, 90, it says 3, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. you can see within range. Oh, to the front oh, door. Yeah. So yeah, front yeah, door. Front of the front door. door. Yeah, front door. I mean, Sorry, I thought still I could completely. Because... It's okay. It's okay. And then I use the rest Ooh. of my movement to go outside with Joe. <laughs> fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, and the two of you Wait, run what? outside. <laughs> yeah, you run out. You broke the game, no. <laughs> and uh, at the end of this combat, I will come back to what you and, and Joe experience outside. Um, oh, that's fun. Well, you got it's now the, out there. So. It's now well, the, uh, three other dudes. the one T um, priest. An injured bastard. Yeah, he hasn't taken a oh, thing no, yet. It's uh, it's my zombie. Uh, and oh, zombie. you're right. You're absolutely it right. Control the oh, zombies. Yeah. Um, zombie number Root one. Guards. Uh, attacks. Oh, those zombies got some HP on. The old slam. Oh yeah. By does the it luck hit of the dice? The 16? That does hit. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at this. Epic damage roll. Whoa! Ooh, dude. Wait, calm down, zombie. Whoa, and I like to think that you just, you just slap your arm like up against him. <laughs> he literally just, just flips oh. off. <laughs> <laughs> and death fungus, death fungus will attack. Actually, no, wait, they're immune death to poison. <laughs> Oh, he regenerates five hit points, by the way, at the start of his turn. You're right. Whoa. Oh, beautiful. Stop, won't uh, stop. And he's going to slam. <laughs> his slam doesn't oh. work. Oh, oh. Uh, this one misses. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and actually, Andrew, I didn't think to mention this to you. I'm not sure if you exactly know how the recharge mechanic works, but that spore cloud ability you have. Yeah. That use, if it has a lightning bolt, that means you have a usage of it, so you can use it. And at the start of each turn, you will roll a dice. Um, and if you roll a, um, I believe for this one, it's a five or a six, then you get that ability back. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. that's Why'd your camera turn like 1980s grainy? Yeah, I don't know. I was trying to figure it out. Um, I don't know why. Oh, it's cast a slow spell. Oh, well. Yeah, Crawl just so you know in the future. Just so you know okay, in the future. Okay, okay. Um, it. Now, it is the 1T Priest's turn. Um, and it is just, I think it's just simply going to cast Eldritch Blast. Um. With both beams at Yokizos. Freaking. Freaking fracking. Miss. You can take off my shield. Yeah, okay. And the second. Miss. miss. They both miss. Ooh. Both go wide. Pew, pew. Um, it is now the, the trap's turn as the poison begins to flood out. Um, and it has an active element. A six again. It does yes. only roll to six. I like well. the six one because it is not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's true. Um, so I need con saves from everyone in the room. But your zombies are immune. So I guess it's just Yokizos and Fayul that I need a con save from. <laughs> now, Mal. All the drow are dead. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh no, she's not. I'm a fucking fighter, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, she's not. The two of you. I'm a fighter, bro. <laughs> Unbelievable. Take a little poison? That's this wild. poison tempest is very upset, even though it's inanimate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's whisper air. And, uh, look and so the two of you take half. This drow takes full as she uh, chokes to death on the poison and kind of falls over. Don't worry. You yes. Tell us how with the other cool stuff that you had planned. Yeah. You'll, after you'll, after we're done with the fight. you'll get to see what it what it could have been. <laughs> um. The Drow Scouts, I believe, are all dead. They don't get a turn. Yep. As the last one, it's not Anaconda. You're right. It's not feared anymore. I don't know if it no, goes away, Anaconda. but he can't see Jaru anymore, so it doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter, yeah. because it's not in his line of sight. Yeah. Yep. Um, the Anaconda doesn't have much of a choice. I think it 
So wait, yeah, there's only two, two brood guards, the anaconda and we got the, the mind priest. whisperer. Whisper. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um. Fail. Kill the priest. We're gonna kill the whisperer. <laughs> On your way out. What? <laughs> I point what? at that guy. That guy. Yeah. Um, See the general area, not the priest. It's a real dilemma here. I point at the priest and go, that guy keeps missing, he ain't shit. Get the other one. <laughs> I guess the anaconda's just, he's not smart, it's a snake. He's gonna enter spirit guardians. Boom! Hell yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. Roll that save. He's got a good con, though. Yeah. Still no? fails. No, he oh, doesn't. wisdom, yeah. yeah. Oh, because he doesn't have the magical thing, huh? Yeah. Um, okay. So now he's entered, he's getting buffeted by spirit dwarves, and he's going to reach down to you, Yokizos, and attempt to bite you. Ow. Ow. Missed. Oh my gosh. And he's going to try to tail you. Yokizos says that as he, he jumps to the side, he's like, missed, he jumps to the other side, missed again. <laughs> like totally trolling the snake. Uh, wow, what a what a disappointing round of combat for the bad guys. It's okay. We uh, had a okay. good round of combat two rounds before that. So that's true. Yeah, we kind of need uh, that. We're at the top of round four, and with that, we will go over back to the sewers. Dum 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 dum. My zombies are dum 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 dum. <laughs> Tough though. That is pretty Oh shit. Um, okay. We will start with you, Ned. Yeah, so Ned's running around and notices this kicked in door. Right? The door got kicked in, didn't it? No, we just it was opened normally and then we i thought you broke it to open it no i just we, 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 no, we, tr uh, we tried we tried but we couldn't okay um uh, okay i guess then i'm going as i pass this door We did lock that outside door, though. I was gonna see, do I smell mm -hmm. any, any birds or giants behind that door? <laughs> <laughs> smell the owl. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I smell the owl. <laughs> you uh, <laughs> and this owl flies forward. You uh, awesome. you don't smell like on the on the door handle like anything that you recognize. Um, but I would like for you to roll me a perception check. That was a perception check, does that count? <laughs> no. Am I smelling with this perception check? No, you're not. Oh. Oh no. And uh you I don't... also remember I rolled like a twenty seven for stealth earlier. Uh that's fine. Okay. You don't hear it as um You you, you don't hear it until it's too late. When you see two men walking up behind you here, and they don't see you. The owl didn't do anything? Come on, owl. <laughs> That's your whole job. <laughs> the, uh, the owl's watching you. Oh, uh, here, I'll give him a perception check. But, no, uh. That's fine. That was just, it's like, yeah. Just never get mad at them. Focus on you. You're, you, are, you are strategically in the shadows of this door frame. The owl is not, and they're both looking at the owl. I see and, the owl and cut my losses, and I start sh uh, shifting down while they're focusing on him down into this hallway. <laughs> okay, that's and fine. And I am peeking it's, around to look, though, like, fuck, what's going on? And you watch as the owl flies away, and you um, can hear kind of, like, them murmur to each other, and then it continue this way. And um, one of the men that's kind of leading is walking down this way, and he kind of calls out, and he says... Revlar, we heard your voice yelling. Are you okay? I'm so glued to the bottom of this chair right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do we hear and that? 
from this uh, room? Yeah, both of you can roll me a, a, a perception check with disadvantage, since you're in a room in a room. But while I am shaking under the chair, <laughs> I do pull out my sword, and I'm kind of, like, holding it, like, really close. You know, mm -hmm. like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, neither of you hear this. And he watches this bandit, walks over to this room, and opens a door. Oh. Five mask. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. We have a situation. Go, go wait, to the kitchen. Wait, kitchens. wait, 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 wait. Definitely with those bodies, I 100% have put them in my bag. So oh, there might be true. blood, but I definitely chopped them up and made I an do, effort to put them in my bag. I do remember and you eating them. And he ate a bunch of them. them. Yes. I do remember you eating them, yes. Um, okay, he's going to have kind of the same reaction, but a little more mild. Like, something to the effect of, like, the, the, some, some, They're just not there, here. but yeah. Yeah, so, something is wrong here. Something is... Grevlar, are you in here? It's locked. They should roll into uh -huh. that one if you try to open the door. <laughs> and you... Well, I mean, they already rolled a perception check to hear, like, all this happening. And and they are in a different room. Uh, the the drow bandit turns to me and says, I think we need to alert the leader. And the two of them kind of very briskly begin to run away. Oh, shit. And run around this corner. So, Ned putting two and two together, he runs over to the door and starts, like, banging on it. Uh, <laughs> like roll. The, I guess another. At the bottom of my sword, like, like not my real rat hands, like making loud noise with it. Yeah, roll. Roll a perception check, you two. Disadvantage or advantage? Or uh, this normal? one, you, this one you can have normal. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Imagine that just being like, hey, do you hear something? Yeah, no. as those, you are completely zoned out, just like full weight up against the door. Uh, but Ventus, you can hear banging. Not on the other side of the door that you're at, but just like kind of like ambiently like around you. I think someone's at the door, Aslos. Yeah, the. I'm yeah, like the, putting my little rat wait, paws what? under the door to be like, hey, it's a rat. Hey, it's a rat. Like, wait, what, do you mean <laughs> some, what do you mean someone's at the door? Wait, the yeah, like, door? Like the, like that, for that main door we came into. So so when we pull this lever, I think we just need to be ready to like to kill whoever comes in, or if they just come in here while we wait, we gotta be ready to like instantly kill them. Oh okay, you you sure you hear something? I mean, I don't really, I seriously don't think there's anybody here. Just just be very weary, cause I'm I'm not a hundred. I do hear something at the door. But... Oh. If they're trying to get in, I don't think we should. Um, okay, I'll, I'll be ready. But we're, we're very barricaded in here, so the enemy will not be able to get in. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's good for us. And then in my mind, I tell Froyo, Froyo, I, I think I found the lever, and I'm ready to press it whenever you give me a signal, or whenever Jin's ready. Hey. Uh, yeah, and... Um... I guess that's actually a pretty good segue to go over to you, Jin, and how you're responding to your situation. Very quietly. Uh, and so how deep of a sleep do I gauge this guy to be in? Um, I mean, definitely, like, sleeping. Like, not like, he's not like... I guess you wouldn't know. He's not like snoring or anything. And can I tell this guy's level of importance? You can roll for me a either an insight check or a perception check. What was the roll? Uh, 15. As you kind of like glance around the room, you can tell that this man obviously like has his own private room and 
there are some pretty nice things around the room like above his bed is like a large painting um there are gilded um like not artifacts but like objects and whatnot and so you have a pretty good idea that this is like a person probably of prominence of some sort. I'd like to slowly and quietly tiptoe over to the bed. And go ahead and roll a stealth check for me. That's <laughs> actually a 10 because of my trait. Ooh, your correct reliable talent. So it turns from a 10 to a 19. Very good. Um, yeah, so you very gingerly kind of stride across the room. Does he react at, like at all? I guess the best way to do this is I'm going to have a roll perception check with disadvantage. And you are lucky that's disadvantage because he definitely yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, he does not react at all. Alright, I wanna... Like, punch him in the head and knock him unconscious. Oh shit, okay. Further unconscious than he already is. I Go don't know ahead if he's and... evil or not. I'm looking up how to do this. How to... Roll for striking someone unconscious. Easy party. Um, roll, I guess, like a, like a dex check, a dex or strength check, I, I'm thinking. I'm trying to think of, like, maybe, like, you doing, like, a, like, almost like a, like, temple strike or something, you know, to try and knock him out cold. Um, but as you go in to strike him, uh, that is not going to do it. And you watch as he begins to wake up and kind of stir. To be fair, that's actually a 15. <laughs> I, <laughs> I appreciate the correction, Dip. but that would still not be enough. And, uh, he kind of rolls over and looks at you, like, real groggy, and looks up at you, and he says, What the fuck? Uh, punch him again. <laughs> Roll me an unarmed strike. Is now I mean you're just you're just hitting them. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it'd be like a, I can add an unarmed strike to your sheet. Hold on. <laughs> With advantage. Sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that first one should have got sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's in your inventory under weapons is an unarmed strike you should have just slit his throat I didn't know if we'd need him or not or yeah, right here, lay next to his uh, yeah you do hit him <laughs> you punch him in the face 1d4 <laughs> or is it just plus one it's just one I give my strength modifier right yeah, that's usually what it is. It's one plus that. There's no roll for it. On unarmed strikes. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, you kind of hit him. And then, uh... He doesn't have any of his weapons on him, so he reaches up... And, uh, punches you back. <laughs> <laughs> Straight punch fight! Yeah, I mean, you're just brawling at this point. <laughs> it's awesome. That's a mess. And uh, as he's like punching, he's like, Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Get out of my <laughs> fucking room! And he's going to run over to try and uh, tackle you. To grapple you. He just punched. Don't I get it to take? Uh, yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Go ahead. Uh, I would actually pull out Umbra and, you know, do that shit fancy knife wave to threaten them to submission and you can see he's kind of looking around the room for his own 
um, weapon. And he's going to use his uh, cunning action to da to disengage, and is going to run across the room to grab a uh, a rapier. And he kind of raises it, and he says, "Look, I don't know who the fuck you are, or why you're in my room, but I'm gonna need you to leave." Now we've come too far, and I'm gonna throw Umbra at him. <laughs> that uh, that hits. Nice. And uh, yeah, you kind of throw it forward, and it stabs him in like the shoulder, and then kind of falls to the ground. And, that doesn't uh, stick in him. Um, I, mean, I guess yeah, I guess it would. It just kind of like sticks into his shoulder. That's oh, gross. Yeah. Uh, and he's going to use his. Uh, he's going to run towards you. Try to strike you with a rapier. Miss. And then use his bonus action to disengage. And he's going to keep running. And I and cackle. He's, he's starting to yell like, Help! 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 So as it gets to like the middle of the room, I'm going to activate my Umbra, teleport to him, and tackle to them to the ground. And <laughs> kill him. <laughs> uh, okay, so that'd be a grapple check, uh, which I believe is your... Correct me if I'm wrong, your wake out. Your his... athletics against his acrobatics or athletics? Yes. So he's obviously going to choose acrobatics. Cut it. And yeah, you uh, you can, like bring him to the ground, and he like does like a kick and kind of slips out, and jumps over you and continues to run. Uh, and with that, I want to go over to. Yes. You, Jet, or you, Thunder. Oh. Uh, this is shaping up to be awesome. Yes. Because <laughs> you are about to do something a little biblical. I'm, I'm going to repost my shit because I know there's like a lot of text. Uh huh. So I'm going to. Um... So you can right click, pop it out, and then minimize it so you always have it available for you to read at least. Right click, pop it out. Right, right click, click, and then it'll you can hit pop out, and it'll pop out message. It'll move it to your screen. Well, if I right click it in the spell book, all I see is no, remove no, no. Sorry, after you, after you put it in chat. My bad, my bad. Oh. Now I just gotta scroll up and find it. Uh, I'm just gonna recopy re and paste it. It's so far up. Oh, there it is. That's okay. Oh, that's no, shape water. Uh, right click. Uh, it says make private delete. I'm just gonna copy and paste it. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. You can just cast again. Okay. Okay. Fine. I'm gonna cast it again. Do not consume a spell slot. Okay. So, um, so since I'm not in combat, and the reason why I said that, so, um, at the and where is it okay so flood has like two paragraphs one's like a smaller one um so the main thing i just wanted to point out it says uh, the water level remains elevated until the spell ends or you choose a different uh, a different effect if the effect produce produces a wave the wave repeats at the start of your turn while the flood effects last um hmm. interesting So, yeah. you uh, so you raise the waters, is that right? Yeah, I, I raise the waters. Um, and I basically just hopefully I drown them. <laughs> 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 uh, 
I like this because since the door's closed, <laughs> you really have no idea what happens. Yeah. You just raise it, and I'm guessing you wait 10 minutes? I don't, like, what do you... Yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful, ho hopefully I'm hearing, like... <laughs> <laughs> roll me that was pretty good roll me a perception check as you like kind of like put your ear up to the door to try and listen into what's happening uh yeah you hear um like yelling and then screaming and confusion as people are trying to figure out like what the hell is going on um they are moving around you can hear like chairs being pushed out and then people like yelling even more and kind of screaming um and there's a lot of chaos inside that you can hear as the water completely fills the room um it's definitely not a 20 foot ceiling so there's no no pocket for air or anything like that um i hear gargles <laughs> you do hear gargles yes um do i do i hear like nine people gargles, gargles worth <laughs> you you have you have no idea how many gargles you hear i, I rolled a pretty good perception you David. did but uh but you wouldn't be able to like <laughs> uniquely identify the gargles that uh that you're making out i can only count six damn it yeah i'm, I'm just yeah, you wouldn't i'm know. just i'm just waiting is it, it continue well, my, my thing is continuous gargles, or the gargles have stopped? <laughs> After about five to six minutes, the room goes silent. Okay. Alright, when, when the six minutes go by, and the room is silent, that's when I... I lower the water. I don't, I don't end the spell, I just... I lower the water. Okay. And I unfreeze the door. And I look at uh, Lopin, and then I, I don't know where Sorenin is. Um, so I walk in to check out what what's there. Oh, Lopin, I'm sorry. I thought you meant Sorenin. Uh, Lopin walks forward. He says, you want me to check? I'll, I'll, I'll check with you. Like we'll, we'll all go in to see what's what's going on. And he begins to slowly walk forward. How high is the water? Um, I I'd say like. Well, I don't want to drown Lopin. How tall is Lopin? Like five and a half feet. Okay, I want it to where it's currently like, at his ankles. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That makes but sense. We're, we're, yeah, we're slowly walking in. We're treading water. Yeah. yeah. Dead, dead. And you hear him in front of you kind of go, oh my god. Actually, correction. I apologize, David. The water is still... Okay, it's a foot, but I'm using shape water to avoid us from being slowed down by mm -hmm. the water. Okay. Yeah. Master. And uh, Lopin dude. kind of calls out in... Um, and Dwarvish to you, Sorny, and says, It's a massacre. Mm, yes, they're all dead. And, and I... And I, wash out of and I... Yes, I, let me describe for you, Thunder, what you see. Um, you. you see several dead bodies that have obviously been drowned. There is puddles of water everywhere. Um, and you can see that the water is beginning to spill out from this doorway right here. What I what I kind of whisper to to Lopin, and I'm thinking Sornin is like, you know, he's always whispering in my fucking ears. So I'm assuming he's fucking by me. I just whisper. I was like, let's just do a a good fucking stab to the throat on all these corpses just to make sure they're all dead. He just kind of solemnly cold, cold blooded yeah. dead man. <laughs> so I'm like. He just starts poking. Yeah, he just. Yeah, and I'm just. We're, we're just. Yeah, just. So you see inv invisible necks just getting. <laughs> <laughs> like, all I see is invisible 
Like blood covered footprints. Just like <laughs> fucking walking around. Makes me think of uh <laughs> the Dark Templars in Starcraft. And uh after a second Lopin says to you Thunder, there are two doors here. And we, we, we made sure all the bodies in here are dead. They've Kill. been poked. Okay. Yeah, it's weird that there's fucking two doors behind the bar. Um. Hmm. All right. Sword and what door should we open first? Oh, he's invisible. Sornin uses Mage Hand. Okay. What, uh, what does he use it for? To open the doors from oh, far away. Stand back, Catman. He, uh, he attempts to open this door, but it's locked. And the other door. Can I do it on both of them? Yeah. And Lopin hops across the bar. Whoop! Uh, kitchen. Okay. <laughs> I want to. I want to check this door for traps. Okay. Roll an investigation check. <laughs> you have Move absolutely out of the... no idea what you're looking for. Move out of the like, way, Catman. Yeah, I forgot you have Maychan. You're a goat. And he tries to open the door with Mage Hand. Any what? Locked. Tries to open. Oh, it's locked. Alright. And then I just go back to the... This room. Um, I um, want to... Mm-hmm. Yep. I was just going to say, I want to close that door that we saw, just in case like I hear someone try to walk in or something while we're in here. Sure. Sure. You, uh, you walk up and you close it. Yeah. Um... With that, Ventus, I want to go to you and Azos. I mean, do we know of anything that's going on? Do we hear anything? Do we hear any, like... No, all you you can really hear at this point is the banging on the door. I'm just waiting for Froyo's signal. I got, like, my hand on the lever. Um, I kind of forgot about that. Uh, Jen, (laughs) I want to go over to you real fast. And while you're in the middle of this brawl, um, Froyo kind of sees that you're in a brawl and um, flies out and opens on this man as he's like trying to uh, (laughs) brawl with you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She opens up with a cold breath on him. Nice. And she freezes him in place as he tries to run away. <laughs> It'd be so cool if he failed this. Oh. He did. Oh. Oh, no. And uh, Royo opens up her little dragon baby mouth and oh. releases a torrent of icy cold breath. And it, you watch as he takes um, a tiny torrent. quite a bit of cold damage. Oh, yeah. And uh, he falls to the ground. I'm not going to say he's frozen in the ground or anything, but I think he's adequately taken off guard by all of this that he falls prone. Fuck yeah. And uh, after she releases the torrent of icy breath, she turns her head to you, Jid, and says, They found a lever in your head. I nod to Froyo, and then I stab this guy with my rapier. <laughs> 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 and I believe you do get advantage for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have advantage. <laughs> no way. Uh, but you miss. You you are uh, also thrown off guard by no. everything. I'm gonna use one of no. my <laughs> charges. And I'm gonna roll <laughs> one of Yeah, them. you are. You come down with the thrust overhand and miss. You use your lucky, and you're gonna use that now. So you do get advantage on this reroll. I cannot oh, here believe we go, that. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. <laughs> that's just an additional d20. Oh, I guess it. Yeah. Yeah, it's just oh, one d20. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah go, I'm, re- I'm re-rolling. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. 
and uh, <laughs> and you bring down Light Snatcher on the shoulder of this man. Um, so go to roll for damage. And this will count as a sneak attack. True. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, uh, He's so like, oh, no. activated my trap card. Here, let me... Uh... <laughs> there you go. Mirror Force! Goodbye. And yeah, you uh, you bring it down on him. And uh, Froyo opens her wings and comes out on the other side of him, kind of blocking the doorway. And she tries to... Uh, Kind of like a cat might do, like a kitten. She tries to huff and puff herself up really big to make herself as threatening looking as possible as she tries to block the doorway. Um, and as she's kind of snarling at this man, Ventus, you hear over in your cupboard her voice in your head. I told him and we're killing someone. <laughs> good, good job. Stay hidden, though. Make sure no one else sees you. And when you say that, she doesn't respond to you, but she just looks up at you, Jed, as, the, as she's in the middle of this doorway. <laughs> you could have slept through this, you know. <laughs> but no, you had to make things difficult. I'm going to say, did, did you hear anything? To, to me, uh, Froyo said she's she and Jen are killing someone. Okay. Do you still hear the people outside of the door? D do I? Uh, yes, you still hear the, the knocking. Yeah, I think there's, there's still a knocking at the door. Do you, how long has the knocking been going? Uh, probably like a good like four or five seconds, wouldn't you say, Ned? Uh, I would say longer than that. The entire room flooded and killed everybody while that was happening. <laughs> yeah, the timeline here is a little difficult. We're, it's like kind of all happening at the same time-ish. Um, I still feel like if you had time so. to flood a whole room, it'd be longer than five or ten seconds at least. Yeah, no, no, no. That, that That's fair. That's fair. We'll say sporadically, maybe over like the course of a minute or so, not like continually, but. Um, but did I, did Ned hear? Well, I guess I rolled like a twenty-seven on that or something. Yeah, what, what you would have heard is you would have heard the water, you would have heard the door fly open, water rushing out, and like yelling and screaming as people ran <laughs> around uh, the corner. Okay, so once that happens, I stop knocking. And I'm going to sneak my way over to see if I see anybody. I see that door's closed, but there's still water coming out of it. Yeah, it's all draining down into the sewer. And I want to look down this little corridor to see what I see. Um, it's just spooky. Oh. It's dark <laughs> and spooky. Okay. It's gated off here. Uh, you see a large portcullis. So no longer oh, like, because like, kind of, I, I was there whenever they were talking about the plan, so I know it, I know that it maybe worked, but no longer freaking out I guess about being them being alerted. I'm just gonna go hide under the chair and wait for Aslos and Ventus. Okay, uh, Aslos and Ventus, y'all hear the knocking stop. <clears throat> I don't hear the knocking anymore, and then I just That's wait there. That's good. For the think... for Froyo signal. <laughs> what do you think? What? Uh, what do you think? Do you think we should stay put? No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stay here and wait for the signal, and then we can just peace out whenever everyone's ready. Sounds good. Yeah. Um. Let's go back to you, Thunder. What uh What are you doing now? Um, so what I'm doing is I kind of want to like, in case we get like someone walks in or something, I want to make sure there's like some kind of disguise that I'm wearing. So I'm going to go to this guy, the one to myself and kind of like strip him and put on like the mask and the cape or not the cape, but the fucking the veil, whatever the fuck he has. Cloak. I'm basically just going to, I'm, I'm putting my clothes and now my empty fucking bag of holding and putting on his fucking clothes. And Sornan is going to turn off his invisibility and then use Disguise Self to look exactly like this dead dwarf. Okay, yeah, perfect. And then he's going to get a bottle of hooch and drink. <laughs> Dude, I look at him, I'm like, 
fucking genius, man. I grab one of these barrels. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Lopin, Lopin slides across the bar and grabs one too, kind of uncorked it with his mouth. Yeah, we're, we're having like a victory, like, wow, this plan yeah. actually like went well. I <laughs> cannot believe you did this. I truly. I drink uh... to Balma. I drink to our maiden. And I drink to you, Catman. Catman. A Largian. And I, like, I put the fucking bag over the barrel, and then I top it over to where, like, it causes the barrel to fall into the bag. Yeah, like a lot. Yeah, yeah. It just kind of topples over. Right. And then I open up one of these bottles, and I take a sip out of it. Just a and sip, because uh, I know I don't want to get too drunk. And as you all are drinking, Lopin kind of is getting lost in his body and says, Wait a second, we didn't find anything. Oh shit, you're right, Lopin. Let's try to let's try to pick this fucking room. We are, we are celebrating yeah, for nothing. <laughs> That's why you're you're part of the team, Lopin. Uh, I guess it'd be a slide of hand check. Uh, yes, with disadvantage to pick this lock because you don't have these tools. That's rude. I have a nail. <laughs> yeah, you don't. You aren't able to pick it. Let's be try. <laughs> and Lupin kind of shoves you aside without seeing it. Oh, says, I will try this now. Everyone's confident in the booze. Yeah. Yeah. You got the liquor courage. Yeah. Fresh effort, like, victory. Oh, Lupin, you did even worse than the I cat man. I did it even worse. <laughs> I was like, maybe we should try to find, um, Jin. Yes. Wait, maybe one of these men have a key. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, we all divide and... I mean, it's pretty... <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Complete sense. It's a good observation. That makes complete sense. <laughs> I, have no, I have no common sense. And go to roll me investigation checks, everyone here. Uh, Animal handling? Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's about to be a crit. This is a good roll. It's a good roll. Uh, yeah, after a couple, a, a bit of searching, um, Sornin, you go to the one drow that's in here, and you find that the drow has um, three keys on them. Hell yeah. Good job, Sornin. I, I hold them out like, which one? Catman? <laughs> Let's try them all. Dwarf man. Dwarf man, oxymoron. <laughs> dwarf male. Male dwarf. Dwarf person. And uh, go ahead and roll me a d3, Andrew. What? Wait, I didn't say I wanted to open the door yet. Oh, I'm Can, sorry. I want to first check for traps. Okay, roll an, invest <laughs> roll an investigation check. Uh, I thought we checked. I thought we checked for trap. Oh, I roll like a one oh. on that check. Yeah. Let's oh, go. Uh, Zornin no. takes a quick glance at this lock and knows quite quickly this is fine. Okay. Nice. <laughs> a one d three. Yeah, you're gonna have to type it in. So slash r space. Nice. You did it. Uh, the key. It was a key. All right. <laughs> Can I roll it again? Two more to check. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Roll a one d two. And now a one d one. Uh, yeah. Roll me a one d one. Oh crazy. my god. Uh, that key. That key does work. Crazy. What are the odds, guys? What are the odds? Oh. And you expose a new room. And Sornin, as you step exactly where you are, you oh, feel no. your weight shift as you step on a pressure plate. Oh, no. And you hear a clicking sound. And uh, and let's end their session right there. Oh no! Not not a lot. Oh no! Andrew's <laughs> not sorted. Sorted. <laughs> My second favorite character. <laughs> I, I quickly yell. Every carnage, don't worry. Thirty-six HP. Yeah, he's fine. Mm. Well, can't, can't do another one, but. What can I do to prevent this from hurting me quickly? <laughs> Not just walk into the room. <laughs> but to be fair, only all the doors have been trapped, so this. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I mean, Sorn have been drinking. Sorn have been. True. Oh, man. 
That's so what I've been drinking. Guys. Yeah, that was good. fun. Good job, guys. I know everyone's only getting a small amount of time because we're essentially divided like five ways. But, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> but soon, soon you will be reunited and only be two ways. Again. And we'll get a lot more. A lot more <laughs> Again. <done>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're used to it by now. Yeah, I, I feel bad that everyone's no, getting a small it, amount of time. Better with uh, Conan and Ned, though. At least, like, you know, we get to interact with Jacob yeah. and... Yeah, yeah it's, it's not all bad, pictures. but... Uh, Fail, you can be a single rat. Yeah, <laughs> Bio can be Lopin. Oh, yeah. but, uh, an owl. Yeah, I mean, you can be Lopin uh, if you want. Uh, I enjoy watching. Yeah, it's all fun. It's, uh, it's, it's a bummer only because, like, it's obviously, like, the best way to do it, like, in character, right? Like, of course, you would split up three ways. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, for the actual playing, it's not super ideal. Not a problem over here. I like it. Well, I appreciate y'all being patient with it, but, uh. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll call that tonight, and then. Hell yeah, GG. Happy birthday, Manny! Yeah, happy birthday, Manny. Happy birthday.